Hey everyone, I'm Rob. It's Sunday today and it's time to sit down and chat all things chat GBT and generative AI and catch up with the news of the week. Now let's just address the elephant in the room. Sam Altman has been let go as the CEO of OpenAI. Now this comes as pretty shocking news and I think Sam himself was pretty shocked as he announced on Twitter. So taking a look at Sam Altman's ex post, he posted saying, I loved my time at OpenAI. It was transformative for me personally and hopefully the world a little bit. Most of all, I loved working with such talented people. We'll have more to say about what's next later. Uh, so let's kind of actually walk back a little bit. So this news was announced on Friday. Now, uh, the New York Times has a post on this detailing a, a bit of what's happened. Um, and I wanna walk this through you, but what is important are these four characters here. So you have Sam Altman here. You have Greg Brockman here, who is another co-founder. You have Ilya Sketskever, who is the chief scientist at OpenAI. And then you have Mira Murati, uh, and she is now the new chief interim executive. So you have these four folks. Now, what according to Greg Brockman and looking at his uh, ex account, he said that Essentially, a timeline was last night, Sam got a text from Ilya asking to talk at noon Friday. Sam joined a Google Meet and the whole board, except for Greg, was there. Ilya told Sam he was being fired and that the news was going to go out very soon. At 12.19 p.m. on Friday, Greg got a text from Ilya asking for a quick call. At 12.23 p.m., Ilya sent a Google Meet link. Greg was told that he was being removed from the board, but was still vital to the company and would retain his role, and that Sam had been fired. Around the same time, OpenAI published a blog post about this. As far as we know, the management team was made aware of this shortly after, other than Mira, who found out the night prior. She's the new interim CEO. And then he goes on to say, the outpouring of support has been really nice, thank you, but please don't spend any time concerned. They'll be fine, essentially. They'll be fine. So let's dig into this. Let's, let's chat about who Ilya Setskever is, the chief scientist, and why some people are saying that he was the one that had a coup and initiated the board coup of firing Sam Altman. So Ilya Sketskever, he is somebody who scowls and looking at his LinkedIn, wearing silly hats, just kidding. Um, full respect aside, he is yeah a, one of the co-founders and a chief scientist at OpenAI. Now, the theories that people are, are saying is that um, Ilya worked under Gregory Hinton. And if we, we remember back, Hinton was somebody that was saying that AI needs to take a huge pause because really it is going to disrupt humanity and kind of saw really the darker sides of AI. Now, Ilya was a student of Hinton's and what people are saying is that, uh, is that Ilya was seeing that, the, that OpenAI was going away from its initial ideals of using artificial intelligence to better humanity and it was kind of going more in a profit direction. Now those are some of the things that, yeah, some people are saying. Other people are saying that, uh, you know, that they want to sort of sweeten the deal with Microsoft and that, you know, they want to actually go more profit driven. Now, the thing about this theory that I don't think doesn't doesn't make sense to me is that Microsoft didn't know about this. So their own CEO had said, we weren't really aware of this, but we're looking to cooperate with OpenAI as to how they see fit. Now, let's turn our attention to the press release from OpenAI. So of course, in the midst of this, OpenAI had published a press release announcing their leadership change soon after Sam and Greg got the news. So according to OpenAI, they, the press release states that Chief Technology Officer Mira Murati is appointed the interim CEO to lead OpenAI. Sam Altman departs the company. They are still in the process to identify their permanent successor. And they say the board of directors of OpenAI that acts as the overall governing body for all OpenAI activities announced that Sam Altman will depart as CEO and will leave the board of directors. They want to say a member of OpenAI's leadership team for five years, Mira has played a critical role in OpenAI's evolution into a global AI leader. She brings a unique skill set, understanding the company's values, operations, and business and already leads the company's research product and safety functions. Given her long tenure and close engagement with all aspects of the company, including her experience in AI governance and policy, the board believes she is uniquely qualified for the role and anticipates a seamless transition while it conducts a formal search for a permanent CEO. Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was, that he was not consistently candid 
in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board no longer has confidence in the ability to continue leading OpenAI. In a statement, the board of directors said, OpenAI was deliberately structured to advance our mission, to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity. The board remains fully committed to serving this mission. We are grateful for Sam's many contributions to the founding and the growth of OpenAI. At the same time, we believe new leadership is necessary as we begin to move forward. So uh, there's a bit more, but I won't read. I think the, the big piece here is the uh, saying that, um, yeah, that uh, he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board. Now, some other folks have mentioned that Sam, there, there was, I mean, this is just perpetuating rumors, but there, there, there were some people that purport, purported that Sam was working in other ventures to develop new hardware with uh, Joni I from Apple that would be focused, yeah, hardware that would be focused on AI as well as funding and doing an investment for a new chip company that would rival NVIDIA. So of course, you know, I'm sure that would make a lot of people happy and, you know, th people are saying maybe he flew too close to the sun and close to the pot of Microsoft's money that he had to go. Now, of course, this is all just hearsay, so I'm really curious to see you know, what the exact reasons are. And I sure can tell you that in 10 years, we will probably get a movie just about this on Hulu. And I look forward to that. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what will come out of this. If there will be anybody else that will be leaving OpenAI, if there will be any sort of competitors, if Sam will join Elon and Grok, even though he made fun of it last week. So with all this being said, there's been a lot that's been happening at OpenAI for the last two weeks. I mean, not only with Sam and Greg leaving OpenAI, I'm sure we're gonna see some more updates in the following weeks, uh, but also since their dev day, they have had to pause ChatGPT Plus subscriptions. I guess they've been completely overwhelmed by it. There was a lot of good press and a lot of attention, and so they have unfortunately paused ChatGPT Plus subscription. So if you want a ChatGPT Chat Plus subscription, you're gonna have to wait for a bit. And just a shout out, if you're in Amsterdam and really need it very badly, uh, you can use mine, but it will cost you a beer. Just to let you know. And honestly, shout out to ChatGPT Plus because I did this one thing at work that it just saved hours of work. So um, I'm helping to organize an internal work event um, that has that features four different types of tours and there's around 150 people coming and there's three different time slots for these tours and people have signed up for their various tours and I just you know clean like uh, scrub the information in an Excel spreadsheet and then prompted uh, ChatGPT the, the the code interpreter version and it took maybe like 10 minutes and then it just it just sorted people by tour preference and time slot for the three different time slots and then like oh my gosh like it's so nice, it's so useful, come on now. Um, anyway, so that's been kind of my life this week. I think perhaps I'm gonna keep it short this week because it's also raining in Amsterdam. I'll give you a, a, a vision of what it is like outside right now. Um, it's cold, it is time to be cozy, it's time to get away from the computer and in front of a television with a Yule Tide log burning. Um, so yeah, that's but that's what's been going on in my life this week, uh, and I just came back from the spa, so I'm just like life is good. Uh, anyways, yeah, next week I go surprise my sister for her 40th birthday, which is going to be super exciting. Uh, yeah, just flying back to Canada for a week, and also do going to experience the cold and the snow there, so that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, and other than that, working on some GPTs that I'm excited to unveil for you. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, if you want to go ahead and like and subscribe, go ahead and do that. That means a lot. And if not, all good. Um, yeah, and I'm wishing everybody a wonderful start to their week. Happy Sunday. Catch you next time. Bye.